Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how you can make these pendants from just regular flyers or newspaper or catalog pages. So let's get started. First cut out your shape from cardboard. I'm just using the cover of a uh, pill bottle. If your cardboard is thin then you'll use two circles but I think this cardboard is probably going to be fine so I'm just going to use one layer. Open a paper clip and just bend it back and forth several times until it breaks. Find a place to slide it in through the slots of the cardboard. Using school glue, fill the cavity full of glue. Like that. Now you can either let that dry or if you're like me and you're too impatient to, to let it dry, then you could just take a small piece of paper towel and just push that into the cavity. And that'll just keep the glue in place while you're working and you won't have to wait for it to dry. Cover the cardboard shape with glue and place a piece over it. Like that. And now cut around the shape about a half an inch larger than the circle and then just score all the way around. Apply glue to the pendant and then bring those little sections over one at a time. Like that. And repeat all the way around. Like that. This is all still probably going to have some wet glue on it. So you're just going to again place the pendant over some newspaper and then, it, oh that's quite pretty actually, go ahead and cut around again and score again. Okay, so now you have both the front and the back covered. For the front I'm going to choose something to um, glue over and I'm going to cut it in a circle. So I could just use gift wrap or wrapping paper but I also have this flyer that came from Michaels and this is just a picture of beads and I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut a circle from here and I'm going to use that as the front of my pendant. I have my circle cut out and I'm just going to apply some glue and then I'm just going to place that where I want it and I'm going to apply another layer of glue over the top and I'm just going to allow that to dry Okay, so this is how the pendant is looking now that it's dry. And then you can sort of pinch the edges down flat while it's still not hardened. And fix any little sections that you think need to be fixed. If you don't have diamond glaze, you could just use clear nail polish to coat your pendant. So I've also already gone ahead and I've coated the pendant with diamond glaze. And now I'm going to put an edging of gold. You can buy these... Um, markers in either silver or gold and I'm going to use gold today. Okay, so I'm just going to take the gold pen and I primed it. You have to you have to press down on the button to get it going. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to very carefully draw a line all around the outside edge of the pendant. And if you don't have these gold markers you could use black, a black marker, or any other color actually, like that. Now this is the pendant now that it's finished. Fold your cord in half and pass it through, bring the two ends through the loop, and pull to tighten it up. This is where this pendant came from, and then I made this other greenish one, and that came from the same sheet, only just in a different section. You can see how different they look. But to show you how you can find pictures anywhere, there was this lovely picture of a wall hanging here. And I made this pendant from that section. It would have been lovely in this, this also. And here on this page, this little um, section of rug, that would have made an interesting pendant. 
or even this would make a great pendant. This would be lovely as a pendant. All of these rugs, small pictures of rugs, would make great pendants. Even pictures of Christmas balls. There's some more over here. So there's just a few ideas for you to make pendants from cardboard or cereal box. And there's your finished pendants.